Hi, I'm Grandpa Ron. Welcome to my channel. Uh, yeah, I'm really starting to hate gasoline. Yeah, it's messy, it stinks, and it degrades when you store it for a long time. This channel is all about changing from gasoline uh, motors and engines to uh, battery-powered ones. Yeah, it all started about uh, eight years ago, 2012. I had a uh, gas-powered uh, lawnmower with a Honda engine. Worked really great. But uh, my mother offered to buy me one of these new uh, fancy ones from Sears. Yeah, it also had a Honda engine. It was a carb-compliant engine. And yeah, it was a really nice uh, shiny black beauty. And it had, uh, had a blade brake, so you didn't have to stop the engine when you had to pick up sticks in the yard and stuff like that. And it also had a single lever that would move all four wheels up and down at the same time. So those are really cool. And uh, yeah, so I got it. Problem is the uh, first year kind of worked okay. It used to take me uh, two or three pulls to get it started, whereas my old one, this one pull, it would get going. But uh, anyway, after storing it for the first winter, uh, next spring, it just wasn't the same. I mean, I used the gas stabilizer, I put in fresh gas, but it didn't matter. It would take me like 10 pulls to get that sucker going. And uh, anyway, I got frustrated with this. So after a few years of this nonsense, I decided to move on. Yeah, I uh, turned off my uh, lawn sprinklers. Uh, I planted native uh, plants in the front yard so they didn't have to be uh, mowed. And in the backyard, I just let the grass die. Got this uh, push mower uh, over there that I got from my son. Yeah, that baby starts every time. And it's really uh, kind of fun to push. So I only need to use it uh, in the spring when the weeds start growing, like they are now. I really love pushing this mower around. Uh, it's very organic to see in those weeds get chopped up and clipped up. And it's like, yeah, get rid of those suckers. Uh, the only problem with that mower is, is if the weeds get more than three inches tall, yeah, it doesn't work, so I have to get up the spring trimmer. But uh, otherwise, if I keep up with it, it's good. Take that sucker. So no more gas cans in the garage. Got rid of all that kind of stuff with the stabilizer and whatnot. Don't want to deal with it anymore. Still have two gasoline cars, but uh, they're getting a little long in the tooth. So I'm planning on replacing them this year, but with what? Here in San Diego, the electric rates are quite high, and the more you use, the higher the rates get. So I don't know. We also get plenty of sun, so I decided to look into solar energy and get some quotes. I ran the numbers, and it was looking good, but uh, only when it was combined with electric car. So I got my first Tesla. It's a little white Model 3. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Took a little for test drive, like the way it went. So, all right, I'm all in. But so far, yeah, I want to get a little bit bigger car that I can actually fit into. Pre-ordered a Model Y, and uh, we'll see how long that takes to get. But anyway, I got to get prepared for it. And the first thing is putting in solar. I put like 10 panels right here, have it hooked in. I got to change my uh, main electrical panel. So anyway, I'll do some videos on that and show you how that works out and get ready for the future. We're gonna start with the solar. Uh, guys coming Monday to do the site survey, but I'm pretty sure these panels are gonna go right here, away from the shade from those trees, and we'll see how that, that works out. So upcoming on this channel, I'll have videos of how the solar went, uh, the electric car, the ordering process, what you need to know about it, and uh, maybe a few other things that are EV related. As with any major project, one thing leads to another, so I don't know. If you want to see how this project turns out, yeah, hit the subscribe button and the, the like if you like the video. If you're into RVing at all, check out my other channel. It's uh, On the Road with Ron, and it's all about my RV adventures and modifications and places we went to. This is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road.